Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'll be making a flan, and I've actually only ever made flan once before. Um, I've always made things like creme caramel or things that are uh, a bit more French based, but essentially it's still the same thing. It's eggs, cream or milk, um, and some kind of thickening agent, and then you can bake it and make a basically a baked custard. So I'm gonna start with the um, flan makeup, and then we'll make the sugar sauce that goes in there as well. So the first thing they're having me do from this recipe is to put one can of condensed, sweetened condensed milk. All right, one and a quarter cup of milk. And then four large eggs. Alright, so it says to blend it for 30 seconds. So now I'm going to start making um, the sugar sauce with the caramel, which really in this case I'm just using sugar and heat. So I'm going to move the phone so I can put that on here as well. So I have my pan on medium low. I'm just going to put a half cup of sugar. So I'm going to spread it out. And this is something that I don't excel at because this, when you're working with sugar <laughs> to make it into a simple syrup or into a caramel, you're supposed to really just let it alone. And I'm a, a natural stirrer. So in this case, I have to wait and let it start to melt. But the recipe does tell me that using a rubber spatula that I can start to stir it around. But this is one of those things where um, if you don't let it go enough, it never fully melts. And if you let it go too far, it can burn. So making caramel isn't hard necessarily, um, but it is very persnickety. It's just weird because when I've done this before, It'll start to melt underneath, but I won't know it just yet. And then all of a sudden, you'll just see this like blossom of melty sugarness. You see what I mean? I can't stop touching it. It said medium low, so I changed the heat up just a little bit and hopefully my impatience won't make me burn this. Though if you burn it, you just throw it away and use another half cup of sugar. So it's not the worst thing in the world, it's just more the principle of the matter. So it should crystallize and then it should start to melt. And if I'm not careful enough, then it could burn. But I always forget that cooking sugar down like this eventually does make a glue if you're not careful.
So I'm going to keep on stirring it so that it doesn't burn, hopefully, while these last little solidified bits of sugar can continue melting. But regardless, it smells amazing. All right, so now that this is melted, I have to work quickly and get it into my cooking pan. Because this sugar, once melted, hardens really quickly, which actually makes cleanup the worst thing in the history of the universe. So I'm gonna smooth this out and try to get it up onto the sides. Oh, it's starting, it's really fast. Ooh. Yeah, can you see that? It's already... <laughs> oh no! Well, parts of it will be caramel. And this is for me to eat later. Um, so the recipe says to buzz this one more time for 10 seconds. and then to pour it into the mold. Um, and then like a lot of baked custards, you don't just bake it straight in the oven, you actually have to put it into a water bath. So I'm gonna pour enough water in here until it comes out about halfway up. Maybe I should have used cold water because you can actually hear the sugar like cracking in the pan right now. Okay, I think this is as full as I can get it without ha sloshing it over because now I'm gonna put it into the oven for 350 degrees for an hour and 15 minutes. All right. So it's been cooking for an hour and a half, so I'm going to pull it out carefully and just check if the center's been set. But it's jiggly. So I'm just going to grab a knife. And so this should insert cleanly. So I think it needs a little bit more time. <laughs> All right, so now um, I have to let it cool down for a little bit and then it goes into the fridge for two hours over to overnight slash when I wake up in the middle of the night and just eat a whole bunch of flan. All right, so it's chilled for like three or four hours now. So first thing I'm gonna do is loosen up around the edges. Get ready to flip it onto this plate. I guess I'll just see what happens. I'll do this this way. Save this to eat later. Right. So that's the baked custard. 
with the sugar topping. Oh, nom, nom, nom. 